Should you be concerned about your irregular periods? Is it premenopause? Let's find out. Irregular periods are not uncommon. About 10% of women have irregular periods during their childbearing years. But once you're premenopausal, your periods are more likely to become very irregular. First, your periods come closer together, sometimes really close together, like two periods in a month. This can last for six to eight years before you go through full menopause. It's called early transition. Then you start skipping periods, like none for two months or longer. This is when women get worried about pregnancy. And you may have a few eggs left. So if you're not using effective contraception, you could get pregnant. You need to rule that out as the first step, but it's more likely that this is the late transition phase of premenopause, which can last up to two years before you're fully menopausal. So why are your periods so irregular? And what can you do about it? To understand what's happening to your body during premenopause, you need to understand the hormonal control of normal menstrual cycles. Right after you have a period, your estrogen levels start to rise in preparation for the next cycle. Estrogen builds up the lining of your uterus. And once you ovulate, your ovaries produce enough progesterone to stabilize the lining. In the premenopause years, you're running out of eggs, so you may or may not ovulate. So you produce much less progesterone, meaning your uterus lining is unstable and you begin to bleed early, maybe a few days early or a week or even two weeks early. So you get two periods a month and not making enough progesterone causes your bleeding to be heavier than usual and longer than usual. So it seems like you're on your period most of the month. It's a pain and you may even become slightly anemic from all that bleeding. There's no rhyme or reason for it. You can't even predict when you're going to bleed, so you tend to have accidents, just like when you were a teenager. Plus, your premenopausal symptoms last longer, so you're moody nearly all month long with tender breasts and bloating. It's puberty with wrinkles. Now, as your ovaries run out of follicles, you produce less and less estrogen each month, so then you get breakthrough bleeding in the middle of the month. It could just be spotting, which is a bloody show when you urinate, or actual mid-cycle bleeding forcing you to use some sanitary protection. And you're more likely to bleed after intercourse. That's because with less estrogen, your uterine lining becomes fragile and sexual intercourse can cause the lining to shed a little. No ovulation and less estrogen over time leads to skipping periods plus hot flashes, vaginal dryness, and brain fog. So is this irregular bleeding dangerous? No, it's absolutely a normal part of premenopause. Of course, you still should be getting regular pelvic exams and pap smears plus STD checks if you're at risk, like you're not in a mutually monogamous relationship. Before we talk about what you can do about irregular periods in premenopause, let me say this. It's hard to go through the change of life, harder yet without support. Oh, and I'm sure your spouse is trying to be understanding, but frankly, no one really knows what you're going through except other menopausal women. So do you have a circle of compassionate women to support you through the change? If you're like most of my patients, probably not. That's why I created the Hormone Support Group, an online gathering place for those of us going through crazy hormonal transitions like premenopause. Get access by signing up for our free hormone reboot training. Now, what can you do about your irregular bleeding? In early transition, using bioidentical progesterone can help. A progestational herb like chaseberry can be effective for some women. Both bioidentical progesterone and chaseberry are used for 10 to 14 days a month, usually around day 10 to 12 of your cycle. The first day of your bleed is day one. Now, this is tricky. Which period is your real period? So when did your periods come before you became irregular, closer to the full moon or the new moon? Start by choosing the one that is closer to when you used to be regular. It'll take a few months to regulate and won't last forever, but may make the early transition a little easier. Now, once you start stopping and skipping periods, progesterone or chaseberry alone may not be as effective. Plus, by this time, you're having more symptoms, and you may need some bioidentical estrogen or an estrogenic herb like black cohosh. Both are taken daily. Be sure to take a break three days a month, trying to coordinate with the first three days of your period. 
It takes 72 hours to clear out your hormone receptor sites, so less is more. Every woman is different. Premenopause can begin as early as your mid-30s and as late as your late 40s. Being prepared for this hormonal transition will help you move into menopause more gracefully. I'll see you in the next video.